Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you a PowerPoint transition that you might not know about. It's unlike any other PowerPoint transition and it looks a bit like this. It's called the Zoom transition. And today I'll be showing you a summary of how it works, how to do it, and some uses of this transition. So let's get right into it to learn how to do it. So all we need to do is open up a new presentation in PowerPoint and actually I'm going to be using a template for today. I'm going to use this road trip photo album one and I'm going to just press create. There we go, we've got our road trip photo album. As I said, this is not just for photo albums, it's not just for this template, it can be for whatever you want. Um, and once I show you what the zoom transition does, you can work out your own uses for it. So we can just go to the second slide and just let's move this up. And so this is going to be a bit more like a timeline, but it'll just show you how the zoom transition works. So I showed you at the beginning that the zoom transition is like this, it's clickable, it's, it's, you can move along. Once you get to the end, we can go, go back, etc. And we can go back to the first page, click on something else, etc. So to do this, it's very simple. You all you need to do is click on these like slide sort of thumbnails on the side and just pull it into the slide that you want the zoom to be on. This won't remove the slide or anything. It'll just create a clickable slide transition called the zoom, which is up here. Now, just to clear something up, the zoom transition, this one here, is nothing to do with the transition called zoom in the actual transition here. That's just a quick aside that you might want to know. And it's good to do all of the ones that are in order because that means you can jump through the slide as shown in the preview. So I can just do this very simply, like this. And you should already be able to see what the, the zoom transition can do. I'm just going to align this center and align this center as well. So that, because I like having my PowerPoints very neat because why not? It's good to be a neat person. There we go, we've got them all like sort of lined up, sort of. We don't need to make it perfect. So all we need to do now is, this is basically it, but there are some settings in the zoom settings over here that we can customize. So first of all, obviously there's the duration, that's how long it takes for it to like do the, the zooming in on of the of the PowerPoint here. It, it's how long this takes and that's right now set to a second, which is all right. There's also the return to zoom. So this is when we have, where basically, for example, the last slide here, if we run this show and we turn on the return to zoom, it means it'll return to the, to the, the, this whole slide. If we press next, it'll return back to the slide, if that makes sense. And then we can just keep going back like that. So that's some of the main settings that a zoom has. And the last thing you should note is that if I change anything on these other slides, it will also change automatically on here, which is also very helpful, which is why this transition is so good. For example, if I move this image out of the way, you'll see it disappears over here. And this means we can create some cool fractals, we can create some cool animations, custom transitions, etc. But I'll cover that in a future video. And if you found this tutorial interesting and helpful, make sure to subscribe down below as I'm doing so well. We just got to 500, thank you so much. And hopefully the community tab will open soon. And make sure to also like the video and ask any questions below if you've got any questions about the zoom transition. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out this tutorial which will show you how to create this super cool intro animation right in PowerPoint. So click on that and I'll see you in that video.